Hello, I'm TNJ and welcome to another episode of the TNJ Show. We have another amazing guest on this episode of the Street Drill today, and this is going to be mind blowing for you because let me not give you any clues right now. It's going to be an amazing episode, however, and stay tuned because we are going to be revealing a lot of greatness on the show today. Bye bye. Welcome back on the TMG show. This is still TMG, and we have Bagan Moncha, the extraordinary king, the extraordinary. Um, what do you call yourself again, sir? Daddy G. Daddy G. O of creativity, yeah. number one. But as I did, like it's now Nazadi. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's really amazing to have you on the show today. Thank you. For I having mean. Me. It's quite a privilege, and I'm really mm. grateful that you're on the show today. All right, so um, before we go further into the show, yeah, I want you to just tell us a little about yourself. I mean, hmm. how did you come about the name Bagal Moncha? <clears throat> uh, thank you very much for that wonderful question. Um, so this is always the like the first question everyone asks me, like, uh, what is Bagal Moncha? What is Bagal Moncha? What are you munching? Exactly. So basically, the name came about from. Uh, the Twitter days, um, then I used to be this person. I think I still am, but a little bit more uh, don't relaxed. Don't yeah, do I've outgrown it. So I used to, I always like when people speak well or when people write well uh, okay. English. So when I see people, especially those your Facebook people, my when Facebook they, people, <laughs> why is it my own Facebook people? <laughs> when they type and they say, ah, we thank God for this, oh, I'm a great person. You know, they just give you those shells. So, Bagam is basically bad English. And Muncher, then they were in the Blackberry days, I'm saying like, is, is it 10 years already? <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, but I mean, in the days of Blackberry, there used to be this um, app, Screen Muncher. So, so, anytime I see all those things, um, I just munch it. So, when I wanted to open my Twitter, my friend suggested, ah, why not use Baga Moncha? So Baga Moncha, bad English, Kacha, Baga Moncha. Okay. Boom. So that's Baga Moncha. That's really pretty. Pretty is interesting. You didn't munch that one. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I, I don't retire. I mean, if you did drop on yourself, I could just leave <laughs> All right, yeah. So um, before we go further on the show, okay. yeah, I've seen pretty much a lot of stuff that you've dropped recently. I mean, mm. it's quite interesting how you how you get creative with words and then how you play with words and do that mm. stuff. It's funny that people still laugh to those things even though they are dry. Mm. Oh, That's well. the sincere bitter truth. They are very, very dry <laughs> but we still laugh. Um, I don't know. I think it's uh, the way I construct it. Okay. And um, I think I, I'll say I do what, I don't know, I do intellectual humor. So okay. it takes a level of reasoning for you to like understand what I'm saying. Okay, so you're saying a layman can't really feel uh, with it. A layman might be too angry and feel like like dealing with me or something. But I mean <laughs> if you re if you think of what I do, it's it takes a level of reasoning to like bring all, all the stuff together. So you're not sure you can classify your kind of comedy or your style of comedy as comedy for the intelligent people. Uh, uh well Let's just say intellectual humor. Let's <laughs> <laughs> no shit in here. <laughs> but I mean, let's, let's just call it intellectual okay, humor. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you started this thing as far back as um two, three years ago. Yeah. And the journey has been smooth and silk, right? Um, yeah, we, it's, it's, been, it's been good uh, because um, <laughs> the cybers, the Nigerian cyberspace is a very dangerous space. So in the sense that. Um, if people, let me say, let me just say it in Yoruba, not like my Yoruba is great, but if people bat here, if they accept you, they accept you. If they okay. don't give a fuck about you, just go to <laughs> So, but I mean, in that, in that short space, um, it's been, the feedback has always been good. And people are always ask me, ah, how, do you, how do people, do you get bad feedbacks and stuff? And I'm like, ah, well, I really do. But I mean, it's been, it's been great and I do this for the people, so. Okay, the motivation so is there, yeah. How, how do you now deal with bad feedback? Ah, uh, bad feedback. Uh, 
Well, you always meet me. I, I did ready. I did. I did ready. So if you bring bad energy to me, then be get uh, get ready to be. So it's like fire for fire. Ah, uh, it's basketball. So. <laughs> <laughs> no fire. All right, all right. So um, before we go further more into the whole show, I, I just want you to um give us like a a, a feel of what you normally do. Ah uh, well, okay. So uh, as you all know. A few. They are, this is not paid, but I mean, I enjoy it. <laughs> um, so if I say I'm bad and I agree, does that make me bad? I agree. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> now it's also say that I'm a fun guy. Does that make me a fun guy? Mm. And um, so what's I, your name? I can, I can pretend to to understand so that I don't look like. No, I, I well, if you don't understand, <laughs> play back. <laughs> okay, my name is Tunji. What's your full name? Tunji Ojedio. Mm, what's your full name? Is it is it Oluwa Tunji or okay, Baba Tunji? Baba Tunji. Oh, okay. I thought it was Ade Tunji. Okay. And I said something like, "Okay, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm on Tunji. What's this? Tunji show. The Tunji show. Um, if you just say Ade Tunji show, <laughs> I just got it. Okay, that. Yeah. Ade." Yeah, so I did Tunji show. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so, so you just felt something really very, very, very nice. Okay, so we'll be going on a short commercial break shortly, and when we're back on the show, we're still gonna go further more into his life and then go deeper, go deeper, no things like, Papa, we don't do wait already. When are you getting married? I can't hear you. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> it. Back to the Tunji Smart mouth drawing me in and you kicking me out. You got my head spinning. No kidding, I can't pin you. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not going and this is still the TMG show. Um, so before going on the break, we are talking about some other stuff. Some other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> some other stuff. <laughs> Papa, mm. we do wait. Uh, we, we do wait. For wait. It. We do wait. I want uh, chop rice on my own. No, see. Hey, go go chop rice. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I, I want mean. to be part of the grooms. The grooms. Is it grooms train? Is that what they call it? Oh, groom, I don't even know. See, I don't even know where they, no, no, they call no. it. <laughs> it's a groom straight. Groom yeah. made. Uh, yeah, when yeah. are we going to see that on your finger? Ah, I see now, a ring full everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't understand. What I, I'm not understanding. You know. Okay, so what's happening to that part of your life right now? What part? What part? There's supposed to be a woman by your side telling you keep going, keep, keep going. going. You know, see, there's this saying that's, hmm. that, that a lot of people say. Okay. Um, that... No, what's the saying again? No idea, idea. Yeah, the saying says mm. that behind every successful man, mm. there is a mm. woman mm. that mm. pushes mm. that man. Mm. We talk true, we talk true. Uh -huh. So basically, what they try to we say, um, behind every man, there yeah, should be a woman that maybe prays for, uh, you know, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they can call your support and back Yeah, and I, I get my man now. Uh, should they pray well? Uh, I get my mind, she they pray, she they talk, she they, you know, so I'm good. Can you marry your mom? No, no, I why yeah, yeah, no, so we are getting to the deep part now. Okay. I, I don't understand, I don't understand. <laughs> okay, talk. let's skip that yeah. part. All right, so this is actually the street drill, and on street drill, we talk about the hustle. 
Okay. How has it been for you all this while? And then what have been the things that have been keeping you going all through the while, all through the 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 hustle, the bustle of comedy, and then the competition around? Because there are many other people trying to do the same thing that you're doing, and everybody is looking for a way to stand out. Yeah, so how has it been for you? Hmm. Have you been able to stand out in the market and then have the people accept you? You were talking about something the other time before we went on a break and you were saying um, in Europa, you said it's in Europa, if they accept you mm. in this market, the Nigerian market space can be very, very competitive. Yeah, yeah. So have you been able to pull through? <coughs> okay, so basically I, what I usually tell people is um, um, if you're not bringing anything different or unique to the table, then you're probably going to have to work and probably um, use a lot of resources before you like break through but I mean if you're bringing something if you want to venture into anything this is not just comedy or anything any industry you have to be bringing something different you have to be unique people have to ha be able to identify you with something like okay so Bagamacha he does this or so 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 person does like you have to be unique in your craft and I mean um, consistency is also very key then always um, I always suggest this to people. It's probably not the best, but I mean, always try to critique yourself. Critique yourself, try to see where you are lacking, try to improve more. Then always explore, research. Don't just work based on what you have in your head. Like, try to explore, try to like, research. Get more ideas and make your craft better. Yeah. Okay, so right from the beginning, did you actually picture Like, the moment you wanted to start two years ah. back or three years back, that. I will be background monitor of the day, the person that uh, people will want to have on a show like this. No, no, no. I've always been the back end person, like right from time. You know, I always prefer to be the creative from the back, like behind the scene, basically. But I mean, that particular day, um, I was just, I was at home. Uh, I would say I came about all of this from self discovery because. Um, most people that knew me, they knew me as a serious person. So when you say even back how much that guy, you might say that guy proud or something because that I'm always like reserved and serious, like it's business, so, business. So it's not, it's not I wasn't the impression that we see on. So the like when people that. see back how much now, they say ah, this guy now, you know this guy. The average greeting is ah this stupid guy, you know. It's now like yeah. normal. So that day I was just. Um, Trying, I was just exploring the other side of me because I I used to act like I used to do dramas and stuff back then, so I was just trying to put something together and I put it together, and I started con contemplating should I put this out on social media for people to see because I, if I put this out, should they won't feel like this guy is too, what's, what 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 the fuck is this guy doing and stuff like that, so I put it out, and I dropped my phone, <laughs> and the feedback I got was really good, so that was like the start i didn't intend to intentionally do it but i just did it anyways i was just i was just exploring i just put it out and the feedback was great i stopped for a while almost a year but people kept asking ah, why why did you leave da, 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 da. so boom motivation again and i kicked off yeah okay so at that point when you were doing the stuff and then you had to break and what what caused the break and all that uh was i got that you were I, not feeling what you were doing you're not getting no, the expected no, it wasn't result that, or no I just got busy with um, other stuff, so I just had to like put it aside and so focus. So, in the real on, yeah. sense, it wasn't like we were focused on taking this so serious. No, I wasn't. I so, wasn't. at this point now, are you taking it serious or you still have uh, other things that uh, are keeping this you... Is, this is... Baga Moncha is a brand on its own now, so it's a serious thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what, what, what are the prospects in the next two, three, four years? Okay, I mean the next two, three, four years. Five years. Five, six and above yeah. yeah um i'll be delving more into um films movies um productions um okay. i've always had a thing for filmmaking so um you'll be hearing and seeing more of me on the bigger stage in filmmaking oh, and okay. movies and stuff yeah so are there any projects that you have in mind or are they your personal projects or you have projects that you want to collaborate with or something majorly there will be my projects but definitely there'll be lots of collaborations into into it um several collaborations so but i mean i maybe because of the kind of person i am i always want things to be like almost perfect before i put it out so um i'll, I'll do more films and movies so just expect yeah okay. and yeah my music i had to <laughs> you sing yeah i mean uh, well like you sing 
I sing great in the bathroom, yeah, that kind of stuff, yeah. And you want to take yeah. serious, or yeah. yeah, I, I check out my tracks on my page. What do you mean? I, no, no, but I sing most well, people yeah. think that it's still a joke. Like, you see, you people never take <laughs> people never take me serious. I say, I say, I sing. You say, yeah, am I serious? Am I serious? No, I say, no, I sing. No, 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 it sounds more like a joke right now. Like, oh my I'm god. Okay, I don't sing. Abi, right, <laughs> right here on the show, I hear you. No, I well, majorly uh, movies, but I mean. I'm going to explore lots of every other part of my creatives, you know, so... Okay, so, yeah. I should have asked this from the beginning. A lot of people call you Baka Moncha, Baka Moncha. Even on your ID, it's Baka Moncha. Yeah. But then nobody really knows your real name, your real identity. Oh, my real name. Actually, I... Well, that's um, Luwag Baga Wande Moncha. Like, if you want to write check, yeah? Yeah, yes. Oluwa oh, yeah, Baga Wande Moncha. No, 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 I don't agree with that. Is that the name your parents gave you? Yeah. Luwabagan Ademoncha. Ademoncha. Alright, no problem. Still yeah. that on the show. Yeah. It's okay. Luwabagan You've heard it from him already. Yeah. It's so awesome to have you on the show. Thank okay. You very still, much. one more thing. How do you deal with um? You see, there are a lot of people doing what you said. Like what what you're doing. Like I said earlier. Okay. Like I said earlier, and um, it's a lot of competition, and oh. I've been seeing um so many people coming, 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 and it's getting even more you understand like the yeah. market is getting very 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 large every yeah. day yeah exactly so how do you deal with that how do you try to um oh, you mean from my own end yeah from your own end oh. you mentioned the part of you doing something that stands out yeah something different yeah but then i'm talking about other people who are also doing things and standing out you understand yeah and then also looking at the part where you have to grow consistently. Mm -hmm. You understand? How do you handle that? Yeah, I mean, I think that's where the part um, I mentioned research comes in. Like, whatever you do, try to, like, research. Try, try to see how you can do it better. Like, don't, don't just, don't be static. Like, keep evolving. That's why I do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of humor. I do different styles, you know. I don't just, even though people like always want to see a particular side of Baga Moncha, but I mean, I try to like give them different sides. So you, you never expect what I do next. Yeah. You never expect it. So I mean, that's, I would say that's you evolving and, you know, trying to stand out and still remain relevant. Yeah. Okay. So someone right now is looking at you and saying, I want to be like Baga Moncha someday. I want to do something like what he's doing, not necessarily the exact same thing you're doing. What do you have to tell them? How do they get to that point? Because it's, yeah. it can be really, it can be a struggle for some people many right. times, you understand? Right. Like True. People struggle with that, thinking of how to start, they don't know how to start. A lot of people see limitations, especially with, I don't have the followers, resources. I don't have people to look at me, I don't have the resources, I don't know how to capture myself and do all of those things. Like you mentioned, you edit your videos yourself. Yeah, I, you I do everything. Exactly, you do basically <laughs> everything by yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you tell people, someone looking at you right now, who wants to be like you, what do you tell him? Yeah. I'm better than myself so basically that's starts small don't wait till you have everything yeah um, the you today if you invest well in it tomorrow the will be a better you so don't wait till like you have everything yeah start with your phone record try to download apps that are relevant to whatever you want to do if it's photography if it's filmmaking if it's kids then bring something different to the table then try to also collaborate try to show people your stuff be humble enough to let ask for a post ask for people to share your stuff um ask for people to invest in you in the right way and i mean if whatever you're bringing to the table stands out trust me within no time you'll get recognition and even if within a short period you don't get recognition just keep doing it one day one day somebody will stumble on your stuff and you never know you will go viral so just don't 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 wait till you have everything before you um kick off your career all right so in a nutshell what you're saying is that consistency is key. yeah consistency is key always be better than yourself um yeah keep pushing and pray pray all right so it's been so amazing having you on the show today thank bro. you very like, much really 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 amazing so if you want to find background moncha anywhere uh -huh, yeah before you, for those who always ask how is your is how is your name pronounced it is background moncha background 
one. They say syllable. One, two, one, two. That's four. Syllable, man. Syllable, man. Do me do. Do do. I don't know about do do, but exactly. It's That's bad. how it's bagam. <laughs> bagam <laughs> muncher. All right, yeah. so if you want to find bagam muncher anywhere on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, uh, anywhere. Bagam. But I'm not muncher. to go. Yeah. <laughs> Please spell it for them so they can find. G B A G A U M N U N C H E R. No, 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 no. We're not saying this part. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't want to mention your friends. You don't mention. You don't want to mention. Okay. So if you want to follow us. And find us anywhere, just go straight to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anywhere at the Tune G Show. And I'm Tune G. And you can also find more episodes on www.tungshow.com. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>